Welcome to today's craft activity. Today we'll be learning how to make a gospel story art cube. Uh, so in your crafting supplies you should have received eight wooden cubes, uh, some cutouts, packing tape, and uh, you'll need white glue, an exacto knife. I'm going to be using a floral knife for this and you'll also want to have a marker, something like a sharpie or uh, a pen because you'll be marking uh, the different sides of the cube. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to label the order in which we're going to be putting the pictures on. So the first one we're going to be putting is the one that says the Gospel Story Arc. So we're going to label that as one. Now that we have those labeled, we're going to put together the cubes. So you will have received in your packaging uh, clear packing tape, but I'm going to be using uh, some red duct tape just so that it's easier to see where to line up the pieces of tape. You're going to want to take two cubes, line them up as straight as possible. You're going to then take a piece of tape and stick them together. Then you're going to flip them over and fold it so the paint the tape side is kind of facing in between here and you're going to take another piece of tape and stick it on there so now you have a hinge we're going to do the same thing with the next six cubes okay so now that we have them all taped up. We're going to take the two middle cubes and we're going to stab them so that the tape side is facing out like so. So it should look like this. See that the tape is facing on either side there. Okay, so now that we've done that we're going to flip it over so that it's all blank cubes. There shouldn't be any tape showing on the top here. We're then going to take pieces of tape and connect the cubes. Like so. Next we're going to fold up the side cubes so that it becomes a cube like so. And we're going to turn the cube so that the tape is facing on the left hand side. We're then going to take two more pieces of tape and tape along the side here. Now we're going to turn it back to the right so that we have to this uh, tape facing this way. We're now going to take our marker or our sharpie and we're going to label the sides of the cube so it'll be easier to line up the paper. So this is going to be our first side. So you can write the number one there. We're going to completely flip it over. Two. We're going to then open it up. Three. four. We're then going to have five. This side will be six. 
flip it one more time. That's seven. And when you flip it back, you should be in, end up back at one. So even though I had put uh, number eight for the Bible verse, we will not be sticking up that on till later. So again, from the beginning, starting with one, we're then going to do a complete 180 for two. We're then going to open it up for three. Flip it so that it's going up and down. Four. Folding it in half so that it becomes a cube again. Five. Opening it top and bottom. Six. And then left to right, seven. And by the time you fold it again, you should be back to one. So now that we have that labeled, we're going to start putting the sides on. You're going to want to use white glue to stick it on. Line up your square with the square. Push it on there good so that the paper sticks on nice and evenly. And you're going to want to wait till it's fully dry before you start cutting into it. So you'll want to wait a few minutes. Once it's dry, you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut along the edges. Make sure that your fingers don't get in the way of the knife. You don't want to lose a finger. You're going to do it both directions. Essentially cutting the picture into four pieces. And it should be fairly easy to cut along because you're just basically following the seam between the cubes. Like so. Careful not to push too hard in case you end up cutting some tape along with it. Okay. Now that it's cut, we're going to flip it over and do the same thing with our second side. And what hap you'll see what happens if you don't let your glue dry fully, the paper will start to tear and pull away. So definitely make sure that you let the glue dry. At this point, it might be hard to find the other grooves, so you can use your fingers to kind of feel around for where the separation between the cubes is. And that should be your folding cube. And by the time you flip back, you should be back to the beginning at the Gospel Story arc. But if you open it up, you'll actually notice that there is a spot where you can put your eighth side. And there you go. So when you fold it, you should be able to tell the entire gospel story. Well, I hope you enjoy making this craft, and I will see you soon. Bye.